Hey everybody, this is Dean and welcome to Photo Blue. Today I'm going to show you how you can blur a face or a license plate in Luminar Neo. Now, you've probably already noticed that at least up to the point that this video is being published, uh, there's no blur filter in Luminar Neo. So I have a workaround to do that. And I'll also explain how um, you'll be able to do the same process, uh, skipping a couple of steps once they do have a blur filter directly in Luminar Neo. Uh, so let's start. So I have this image here that I got from Pixabay. And uh, what you would typically want to do would be copy this um, layer. So you have a second layer to blur and then do some masking. And then, then you end up with, with the faces blurred and nothing else. But since we don't have a blur filter in here, we need to use another app to blur a copy of this. And the app we're going to use is uh, called uh, Lunapic at lunapic.com. Now this is an online photo editor and you could actually uh, do the complete process of blurring a face if that's all you wanted to do using this app. But the way I'm going to show you makes it easier to bring it into Luminar e uh, Neo and then you have uh, you have more flexibility of how you're going to process the rest of the image and uh, if you want to do other things to it. Uh, so we'll go back here to uh, Luminar Neo. We need this right here is a JPEG picture so we could just take a copy of this picture and use it but if it was a raw image what we would actually have to do is go up here go to folder pick a folder and then uh, save this or export it as a JPEG and use that to go into Lunapic. Uh, but I've already taken care of that. Like I said, this is already a JPEG, so we don't even, I didn't even need to go through that process. Uh, so what we do is we go back to Lunapic and I'm going to upload an image. There are two images here. One is, is one that I've already, uh, uh, blurred and saved and then there's the original so I'm going to load the original in here to show you how to blur it so it's bring we brought in the original image and now what we're going to do is we're going to go over here and go to adjust and uh, under adjust we have blur so we're going to select blur and it makes it slightly blurry here you want to look at all of the faces this man's face right here if we if if we had all the blur off that's actually sharpening it some even if we had all the blur off by default this woman's face is actually sharper than this man's face so you want the sharpest face you want to look at the sharpest face that you want to blur so that you know that you have enough blur in this image so what we're going to do is we're going to bring it down all the way and we're going to apply it and that's pretty good uh, you want some detail in there to show that it's a face but some it's not quite out of focus enough to make it totally unrecognizable if you actually knew this person probably so what we can do is we can go back up here to adjust and go to blur again and look at her face right here we're going to go make it even more blurry. Now that, that looks pretty good right there. You could even go more and more to whatever you want it to look like, but this should be good for our purposes. I'm going to apply it. And then I would click on download now and download it to my computer. And then I would bring it into Luminar Neo, but I've already downloaded it and everything. So let's just go to Luminar Neo. So we can't really copy this normally we like I said we'd copy this layer duplicate this layer here we can't we have to bring in an, another copy of this exact same image so we're gonna go plus right here and then we're gonna hit plus again and it's going to give us a um, box here and here's the blurred version of this image so I'm gonna select this and bring it in and it brought it right here and so then I'm going to uh, click on this and it brings it in as a layer. Now it doesn't look it doesn't look very out of focus really right there, but that's because the opacity is down to 50% on this layer. So let's bring it up. So now everything's out of focus, which is not what we want. So we want to go to masking. 
and we want to uh, we want to fill it and then invert it and so now if we show the mask there's no no mask there so what we draw in will be the mask if we didn't invert it everything would be masked uh, so we're going to go back to brush under masking and uh, let's see the size let's adjust the size of this brush we can this we want some softness in it uh, so that the edge isn't really harsh uh, and then we can go in here and we can start to uh, move around the face and we can get however much or however little of the face that we need to or want to we can include the entire head or the hairline just whatever makes sense for you and then once we're done with the mask you can see it's blurred the face layer properties again and we can go to uh, paint and we can paint out this woman's face you can see as I'm painting this one out out it's showing what else is mask which is the other woman's face the nice thing about this is you can you can adjust it so this woman's face is partially behind this man's head and we don't want to blur the man's head we just want to blur the face so we can go in we could even make a smaller brush and go in here if you wanted to get this a little bit of her eye out and we can still avoid uh, touching the man's head and so there we have a picture and so we've blurred out two faces uh, right there now the way that you would do this once they get the um, or once they put in a blur filter is you could actually just duplicate this layer and then blur it and then do the masking as we did uh, in this video so that's how you blur faces you can use the same process to blur license plates I'm Dean and this has been Photo Blue, and I'll see you next time. Don't forget to subscribe, share, and like.